So the second part, for some of the four note chords, at grade eight, we have chords that involve more than triads. A triad is a chord with three notes. With three notes, tri, like a tricycle, we have three wheels. In a chord with three notes, you call it a triad, like this, three notes. But now you have a four note chord, which means you have four notes are together as a, as a chord. So we call this four note chords. So you're going to play these chords in its root position and its different inversions. For example, C major, you have this, C, E, G, and C. So you play the first one, and then the next one, you dump your E up here. And then notice that the top and bottom are always the same note. And of course, you keep going on all the way four octaves. Coming back and playing two only, but you should be playing four. Because of the limitation of the camera viewing the keyboard, I can only show two octaves. And also at the same time, to save time, I'm only going to demonstrate two octaves. But every time, I would like you to play through three and then four octaves. So here we go in the four note chords again, C major. Make sure the tones are beautiful and singing. And at the very end, you play the cadence like this. Now remember this is called a 5-1 cadence. 5-1 also named plagal, I mean perfect cadence. 5-1 is a perfect cadence, like this. So to revise how to play the 5-1 cadence, this is 1, the tonic, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The fifth note is called the dominant. Let's revise again. This is the tonic, supertonic, median, subdominant, dominant, submedian, leading note, and tonic. So from tonic, this is dominant. Dominant to tonic is a five, the fifth note, five, four, three, two, one. Five to one is called a perfect cadence. And this is your one chord, of course. But now you play more and back to your triad like this as an ending. So when you play your five, you want to have this. How do you find your fifth chord? Very simply, you know your fifth is G, B, D. But we're going to play the first inversion. This is your root position. This is your first inversion. So first inversion. Now the way to remember the chord very easily is this. This is your tonic, the one chord. The fifth chord is you keep your five finger. You play your second finger right there. You just move the thumb out by a semitone. Everything's the same. You play two and five where your hand is. And you move your thumb out by a semitone. So, got it? Now, same thing for D major. If you have this, whatever, after a whole bunch of chords, 5 1, you have 5 1, and 1 is your chord here. When you play your fifth, you have your second finger and fifth finger right there. Your thumb goes down by a semitone, so you have. Same thing now, let's try an E flat major for fun. So you have this, right? Five, the fifth note to the one. One, two, three, four, five. And your one is like this. So what's the fifth? Fifth chord. You keep your second there, you play your fifth there, and your thumb goes down by a semitone. So, got the idea? So you have. One last demonstration, if we have F sharp major, so that's your one chord. So you keep your second finger here, your fifth there, and your thumb goes down by a semitone, so you have, that's your 5-1 cadence, also called perfect cadence. So in this instance, it would be very useful for you to try out all the cadences. So put your hand in any position, C, C sharp, D, E flat, E, F, F sharp, G, so on and so forth. And then be able to play all cadences. For example, A flat major. So 5-1, you have. And 
B major. So you have this and then. So you can familiarize with all possibilities of uh, cadences. So the next one that's coming up will be the diminished seventh chords.